Let's do seven segment display decoder in this presentation. On your screen, you can see that there are two images. On the right hand side, the image shows you the actual display which you will get in the market. Okay, and uh, there is seven segment in this display. This is the first one, second one, third one, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. And also there is a decimal point here. And all of this, the seven segment and the decimal point is illuminated by uh, LED. Individual LED is associated with this segments and uh, depending upon the condition depending upon the input and what they have to display the corresponding LEDs glows okay on the left hand side you can see that we are displaying from 0 to 9 using this display on the left hand side you can see that we are displaying the numbers from 0 to 9 using this display so for an instance let's say I want to display the number 1 so for this I have to illuminate these two these two segments and uh, one more thing we do is to segment a name let's say it is A B C D E F and the middle one is G so to display one by using this display we have to make B and C high okay so there is one thing you already know that one is represented as 0 0 0 1 in the binary world and all the digital circuits work on the binary numbers so this 0 0 0 1 is somehow to be converted in something which illuminates the LEDs of the segment B and C and the intermediate thing which decodes this 0 0 0 1 we call as the decoder the seven segment display decoder that you can see here there are four bits b0 b1 b2 and b3 that uh, represents your number from 0 to 9 and this is your seven segment display decoder and that is what we have to find out in this presentation it is nothing but the combination of the logic gates which decodes this incoming signal to the signal which makes these segments high correspondingly so let's move to this one now here you can see that a table in which I have written the BCD codes and if I want to display 0 then it can be done in this way you can see here it is displaying 0 so to display 0 we are having the segments A B C D E F as high the LEDs of this segment should be high to display the number 0 so what we will do we will make them high so A is high B is high C D E F C D E F are high and G is low so G is 0 similarly if I want to display 1 in, in, in this figure you can see that how 1 is displayed so to display one the segments B and C are high so we will make them high A is low B and C are high and all the rest segments are also low similarly for 2 if I want to display 2 then segments A B D E and G are high so we will make them high A is high B is high D E and G are high F and C are low similarly for 3 A B C D and G are high so we will fill them in the table A B C D G is low F is low and sorry E is low F is low and G is high similarly for the number 4 B is high C is high F is high and G is high so B C F G rest of them are 0 similarly for number 5 we are having A C D G and F as high so A C D F and G and rest of them are 0 
now we will move to the number 6 for 6 only B is low and rest of the segments are high so only B is low and all of the other segments are high in case of 6 and for 7 A, B, C are high A, B, C are high and rest of the segments are low for 8 definitely every segment is high for 8 and for 9 only this segment this one which is our E E is low and each and every segment is high so A, B, C, D E is low F, G so and the, and, and the cases in which the numbers which are greater than the 9 are the don't cares why because if I want to display 14 then I cannot display 14 by using a single 7 segment display but I need two 7 segment displays one will represent the first one will represent the 1 and the next one will represent the 4 in this way so I need two 7 segment displays to represent 14 that's why the numbers 9 onwards we take as the don't cares and uh, I hope you now know how to make this table and by using this table we can easily minimize the function for a b c d e f and g which are our seven segments and how we are going to do that we are going to do that by the k map Carnot map which we have already discussed so in the next presentation we will minimize them and we will see what we are getting and uh, the combination of all the functions that we get after the minimization is our decoder and for that we are doing all this work so see you in the next one